next video we're going to do something a little bit different now don't worry we're still talking about amazon but instead of doing all the packing and shipping and sourcing products and all the normal things that we talk about on the channel we're going to talk about another form of making money and that is through amazon affiliate marketing let me start off by explaining what affiliate marketing is for those that don't know it's actually quite simple you provide a link to a product people purchase that product and for you referring them to that product you get a commission it's as simple as that it really is so this would be perfect for bloggers people that have some sort of social media presence perhaps on youtube or instagram facebook and tiktok of course what you'll do is you will maybe show a product so for example this cup this cup is great it tastes so good to drink out of you can buy this product from clicking the link down below or perhaps i just bought this cup i can't believe how brilliant it is i actually got it from this website blah 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 and if you're interested in it you can click the link down below so there's different ways of promoting an affiliate link. It can be quite clickbaity, it can be quite obvious what it is, or it can be kind of done in disguise as if you've just bought this product and you're just sharing it with friends. It doesn't really matter how you get the clicks to the link. The idea is you get as many clicks to the link as possible and the owner of the product will reward you for bringing through the sales by giving you commission, which can be anywhere from five to 15 to 20%. It really depends on the product itself. It doesn't really matter what the product is. If there's a reason that your users or your subscribers or your followers might want to purchase that or need to purchase that, you may as well get a little bit of kickback. Like I said, 10% on average, maybe even 20%. That's a lot of extra money, especially if you can get traffic to that link. Now, affiliates can happen for any website, any type of goods, any type of shop. You have TikTok shop, Instagram shop. You know, there's loads of different ways of being able to become affiliate marketer. But for me, the best choice is actually to do it through Amazon. Why? Because Amazon is the biggest marketplace in the world. So it only makes sense that you have more choice, more links that you can create, more links that you can promote. And maybe people are thinking, oh, do I want to buy this? Do I not? TikTok shop, for example, it's only relatively new people are still a bit nervous I mean, what am i buying what's the quality everyone knows the quality the service they'll get with amazon fast next day delivery good refund policy you're not if you're not happy you can get it returned so people like that comfort so if you share a link to amazon chances are if they like the product they're going to purchase it before we get into showing you how to find the best trending products ones that will be so good that people just will not be able to resist the urge to purchase these products we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to get set up with this affiliate program first thing you want to do is type in amazon associates into google hit search it'll come up first thing click on this it'll bring you to this website amazon associates and scroll down you'll see a big button that says sign up guess what click that that's you signed up it's as straightforward as that but we'll explain exactly what amazon's affiliate marketing program means welcome to one of the largest affiliate marketing programs in the entire world the amazon associate program helps create helps content creators publishers and bloggers monetize their traffic with millions of products and programs available on amazon affiliates use easy link building tools to direct their audience to products they recommend and earn from qualifying purchases and programs so step one you sign up join tens of thousands of creators publishers and bloggers who are earning with amazon associates program step two share millions of products with your audience we have customized linking tools for large publishers individual bloggers and social media influencers and then earn this is the bit everyone wants to know about step three earn up to 12 percent in commissions income from qualifying purchases and programs our competitive conversion rate helps maximize earning now while having a youtube or a tiktok or an instagram account is the best way for influencers to get traffic to click links ultimately all you need for this is a basic very basic website you can go to many different websites for example godaddy set up a website just type in set up website there's loads of great tools out there wordpress 
is a great, easy enough sort of website to navigate. That's for a different video. But once you have a website set up, you can meet the criteria as long as you don't have anything profanity or anything, you know, against Amazon's terms and conditions. All that information can be found on their website. Plus lots of helpful guides. Again, if you go here, you can see if you scroll down, it tells you about blogging basics, the affiliate marketing program, all guides, tips, how to get better at this fashion blogging, branding and influencer. Here is your website design, content marketing, how to promote your website, the SEO, the right keywords. It's all there because Amazon wants you to promote their products. They want you to help them get more traffic to their website. So they will give you all the tips, make it as easy for you to do this. And like I said, if you have no following, no social background at all, you can do paid advertising to get your website ranked. There's a lot to it. It's for a different video, but the purposes of this is just to tell you how straightforward it is and how much help there is for you to start becoming an affiliate. It's one of them things. It'll snowball over time. It helps to understand how the commission's based. Needless to say, the most popular, biggest categories are gonna have the least commission because Amazon doesn't need your help promoting the best selling products. It wants you to promote categories that are very saturated with lots of different products, lots of competition. They want you to promote those products. The products that are maybe a little bit harder to sell, they want you to promote those types of products. Amazon's own products are going to be very much at the bottom of the list. It's not a big, huge, established brand. So Amazon Games, they're branching into games, whatever the, maybe the new category will be. You're branching into something that has no real presence yet. So they want you to promote that. If you promote that, they will give you 20%. Bear in mind, it's Amazon to make these goods so they could be a lot more generous when it comes to their commission. You can see then the luxury, the beauty stores all make up bigger, higher ticket value things. Plus, it's a huge category with plenty of options. That's another category that will be well looked after. Then it starts to drop down. Kitchen, luggage, personal care, all around 8%. The electronics, home, home improvement, beauty, again, on that list because it's not luxury beauty. It's just standard beauty. You're more basic. Um, commission rates for that and you can see that is a limited period but these are gives you an idea of the types of fees you can actually get so it's worth exploring once you've logged in signed up maybe ask amazon maybe look and see if you can get do a bit of due diligence into the best categories but this should give you a rough idea that there is better categories over others now your website's made you've signed up to amazon you're all set you're all ready to go you're looking for your keyword how are you going to rank this website well you'll kind of want to know your product how do you find a product what product's best going for what is the criteria that you're perhaps looking for well ultimately the criteria is quite simple you'll want as much as possible to be made you want the best return that you can possibly get because the same amount of effort is likely to go into this as it would for the cheapest product or the dearest product so you need to find something that is worth investing into it could be very easy to go on to amazon and just start searching products and finding uh, many different affiliate links or you can use tools and as we like to talk about on this channel we talk about tools because tools can make all the difference. There's ways of being able to search Amazon and find products. So that way, if you do go to the effort of creating a whole blog post, you're not wasting your time promoting a product that's only gonna do four sales a month. You're promoting a product that's gonna do a thousand sales a month. That's the difference. So it again, is worthwhile investing in tools. For this video, we're gonna look at a tool that I love called AMZ Scout. And if we go to the website, product research section, and what you'll do is you go to product database. That brings you to this page and what you'll need to do then is put in the criteria and this is what we'll talk about. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is go to more filters. And here, we've discussed this in a number of videos before, but as you can see, there is a lot of different choices. Let's be honest, a lot of this criteria is not really gonna to matter to you because you don't really care about the weight, don't really care about the size, because you're not buying this product, you're not on the ship it in. So all the stuff we've talked about in other videos, the criteria, the settings, things to avoid, things to get, that all goes out the window. Your key thing here is to find fast selling products, so products that are going to excel extremely well. As I said, you're going to put the same amount of effort in. So you want a product that is hot, a product that people cannot get enough of. If you promote it, they will click the link and you will earn that commission. Based on the information that we already talked about and maybe your own due diligence, what categories would be best for you to sell? What ones you're passionate about? Whatever it may be. To keep it straightforward, I'm going to go with beauty. So we hit apply. This will then only find you beauty products, which is cool. Estimated sales, I'm going to go with 500 as a bare minimum. 
price this is up to you there's two ways of looking at it a higher end product there's going to be more commission if something sells for 100 pound and it's 10 percent commission you're making a tenner if you're selling something for 10 pound you're only making a pound so you have to sell 10 of them they get the same i like to have a bit of a, a balanced i wouldn't go any more though than 25 pound rank i'm gonna go with 500 i feel like that's a good rank for this doesn't matter really about the sellers the rating and anything like that just rating again you're going to want a good product you're not going to want a one star so i think a minimum of at least four star rating and then we're going to hit fine products sun's coming out lovely and here you go you can see then all of these products here is the rank here is the estimated sales for me again the purpose of this is to try and find the best selling so i'm going to filter and that's a great thing about amz not only do you have all these categories you can search them and pick what category you want to filter by best i look at that Eleven thousand sales maybelline new york rank great rank great sub rank great price nine nine pound selling price this would be great it's not dangerous goods it's going to tick a lot of the boxes that i like there is another way of doing this as well if you go in so for example this lacoste polo shirt 76 notes a lot of money what you can do is hit the pro extension this then will go through and find all the information we've covered this in other videos before but this tool makes it so so easy to be able to get in and go okay i want to sell polo shirts what's the best ranked one okay you don't want to go near these ones again you can search by rank okay look at this five thousand this is going to sell a lot of every month this ranking's good i'll maybe go with this that's the key with an AMZ Scout. You don't want to waste your time. If you didn't have this tool, you'd be wasting your time. You could be trying to sell this XL version of this shirt with the terrible sales rank. And you're going, why? My blog post is good. The website's good. Everything's good. I'm getting good traffic. I'm getting people coming to my blog. But no one's wanting to buy it. Why? Because no one is interested in a low cost XL yellow shirt. It's just the reality of it. So this is why it's so key. And again, another reason why your AMC subscription pays for itself. So assuming that this is the category, assuming that this is what I want to get into, which I think beauty is always good, this would be the market. This would be kind of what the website would be built around. Perhaps a blog post just about generic stuff. You can use websites like ChatGPT to create a bit of a blog for you. Populate it. Get Amazon approving it. These are the types of products you're going to mention in your blog. Links down below, maybe compare four or five different ones. Have the five links all there for people to pick either the best valued one or the, the most were or last for 48 hours. You know, whatever your content's going to be about, have each one of these things listed, pros and cons. People then click the link to want to buy it. And this one with the selling so well, it's clearly a very popular brand. So if people are maybe slightly just Googling it, wanting to know maybe which one's better and this one comes up as Trump's, they're probably already half purchased it in their mind anyway. They just want to read something a little bit more just to reconfirm their thought process. They'll see this and go, yep, this other person's thinking this is good too. I'm buying it. Click the link. Boom. That's it. You're done. Lastly, the most important thing you're wanting to know is I've done all this work. How do I get paid? Very, very straightforward. Like any commission thing anything at all anybody that has a youtube account or anything that gets paid money in commission basis it's the exact same principle amazon will tell you how many people have clicked the links you can see all your statistics how many people have clicked the link purchased the link whatever it may be it'll give you a sum of money you have now got 150 dollars coming at the end of the month and it pays you every single month but you can change that it could be bi-weekly you could even turn off payments let that pile of money build up it's entirely up to you what way you want to be paid again it's every everybody's preference will be different but that is it it is very very easy to do all I will say is it'll take time and it's a bit of a snowball effect. Just like Amazon FBA, the more products you list, the more effort you put in, the more it will compound and it will run itself. And these, these blogs are just like the YouTube content. You get a good blog or get a good video and the SEO is right. People will keep coming back year after year, watching these videos, reading these websites just to get that information and they will keep on clicking those links. That's the video. I hope you find this one informative. As I said, at the start of the video, there's so many ways to make money through Amazon. If you had every one of these, 
ways of making money. Imagine how much it would compound over time. It's phenomenal how much money you can make just from working in your house or working from home through Amazon. And don't forget, if you are considering doing this affiliate marketing through Amazon, you need to click the link down below and get your free trial of AMZ tools. That will allow you to find the best products, set up the links today and get the money rolling in. I'll see you in the next video.